Hello, I'm Sandy Oliver and I'm going to be your instructor for English 111 and English 011, kind of a combined course with a regular course in a lab. Um, and we are also an eight week course, so it's a fast track. Um, we're going to do a whole semester's worth of work in eight weeks, um, in half a semester. So it's going to be kind of intense and you're going to think, wow, that's a lot of work. And it is, but this is where we are. Um, this is an eight week course. And so it has to be the same as a 16 week course, um, or it wouldn't be fair to give you credit for it. So keep that in the back of your mind as you go. We'll be good. Um, if you haven't printed off your syllabus or you don't have it saved to your device, um, go ahead and pause me and go do that and then come back. Um, cause it'll be very helpful for you to see what I'm saying as well. Um, English 111 is the first English class, um, well, I guess 110 as well, but English 111 is the, the standard kind of first semester freshman writing course. And so we're going to work through um, a series of, of assignments that are going to help you be prepared, not just to write in your English classes, but to write for other classes as well. Um, and then English 112 is the class that teaches you um, APA, um, which is use the style and format that is used by a lot of our um, AAS degrees. Okay, so um, this course has three class hours and three lab hours, and you get five credits. Um, and so that just means that um, during the course of the week, the first five hours are mine. Um, for watching videos, for reading stuff to get up on the assignments and that kind of stuff. And then the other three to six hours you're going to need in a week are for your own working through the materials and the assignments um, and then posting things to Blackboard. Um, I'm going to walk through the English 111 part first um, and I may make the 011 thing separately, but we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so page one is the normal um, weird stuff here. Um, like I said, I am Sandy Oliver, Mrs. Oliver, her, she, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't have office hours or an office location because I'm an adjunct and I don't get that kind of backup or whatever. Um, but you do have my cell phone number. And so if you're running into problems, um, you can shoot me a text, um, and I would be happy to answer your text. Please make sure the first time you, you text me that you tell me who you are. Because um, I don't have you all on my phone yet, right? And I want to make sure that I'm doing this well. Um, and so name, and then I'll put you in my phone so I can know who's who's texting when. Um, but anyway, text first. Um, if you really, really super need to talk to me, um, we'll try email first and then text. And then I can do phone calls. Obviously, I can talk and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but I want you to get used to... Um, professional kinds of discourse and communication and that's best done through um, email and text where you get to look at what you said before you hit send. So look at what you say before you hit send. That's a good a good rule to follow. Um, this course has um, a couple of different things that we're that we're going to try to work through. One is proper communication um, in an academic setting and the other is um, using um, online resources and things to write papers and all of that. So we'll have lots and lots of fun. Um, our textbook is the Little Seagull Handbook. Sorry, it's over here on my stand. I've got to lean a little bit. Um, the Little Seagull Handbook is this one. It's green. If the, you know, the colors don't always come across the way they should in that. But it's the fourth edition, 4E, um, and we're going to walk through quite a bit of this over the course of the term. Um, the rest of it is, you know, stuff I'm going to provide for you in the form of handouts and in, um, well, what I think of as handouts, and in videos. Okay, I have a lot of videos up there, um, and they will help you. Um, they're specifically targeted to um, a particular writing assignment or a skill that you need to do the writing assignment, like summarizing, that kind of stuff. So um, you have access to Microsoft 
Office 365. Um, in your when you sign into your email, there's a click there, download, da da da. You get so many of those over the course of your time um, as a student, and use it, use it, use it, use it. Um, I know some of you IT people like ODT stuff. Um, open source is great. Um, it doesn't translate very well on Blackboard though, and that's what we're using to do all of our work through. So figure out how to save your document as a docx or a PDF um, or a JPEG. Um, and those are the forms that work best with Blackboard. Um, now I'll also tell you, I am a really good speller. I'm not a great typist. I've gotten better over the years because I use, I, I've been using a computer since we could use computers. Um, but the current thing that we type everything into on Blackboard doesn't spell check. So occasionally I flip letters, um, especially if they're hand to hand, but you don't need to know all that. Anyway, um, make sure that you can sign in and out of Blackboard, um, your student email, um, check things on a regular basis. Um, every day during the week is great. Uh, Monday through Thursday is how I kind of look at the work week. Um, because I don't want anybody to think they have to work on their holy day. And in the U.S., we have three major religions. And one's holy day is Friday, one's Saturday, one's Sunday. So my holy day is Sunday, and I try really hard not to be doing schoolwork on Sunday or being online at all, really. Um, although I'm not, not up for that this week. You can tell by the date and time stamp. I'm a little behind. Um, so anyway... The whole reason for the Thursday night deadline is so that you get all my attention that you need before it's due and you don't have to work on your holy day. Okay. Now, if you work all week and you need to have the weekends to work on stuff, I understand that. Um, work ahead, not behind. Um, and the first week of assignments, I don't count late until the end of the second week. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that because um, I know everybody has a different schedule, a different way of working, and I want to give grace to all of that, um, but we have to have deadlines. Okay, if we don't have deadlines, we don't do our work. Most people are like that anyway. Um, there are numbers in here for you for Blackboard technical support. There's also clicks on very different spaces about how to get a hold of IT and Blackboard and all that kind of fun stuff if you're having troubles. Um, grade scale is 10 point scale. Um, so 89.9 is a B. 90 is an A. Just keep that in mind. Um, on, I'm on page three. Um, we have the course requirements, um, methods of evaluation. We don't go by points, we go by weight, um, which means one thing that you do might be a homework assignment that's worth 20 points, um, and that's part of all the assignments that are worth 10%. Okay, um, there's a, a breakdown of the page there um, high stakes assignments, things like quizzes and papers, final drafts of papers. Low stakes assignments are things like the draft, rough draft submissions, discussion boards, all the other fun things I make you do. Um, and so that's where our pieces are. Um, the quizzes, we have three of them. They're worth 15% altogether. Um, the research paper, the big thing for the semester is worth 20. Um, the public piece, when we shift our focus from an academic audience to a public audience, there are different ways we can do present that work. And so that is a 15%. The topic memo, which is when you tell me what you want to do, um, is 10% and the research journal where you tell me what you're going to use um, is another 10%. So um, I will go through all these. You will have um, both handouts, assignment sheets, and um, videos for these. So don't, don't stress too much right now. Um, a couple of different things about our departmental policies. Um, academic dishonesty will get, at the very least, a zero for the assignment. Um, if you plagiarize, if you take somebody else's work, if you buy a paper, um, any of that kind of stuff, um, it's going to end up with um, costing, costing you that particular grade. Um, if this is not your first offense, then things can get weird from there. So there's a whole list on page three and the beginning of page four. Um, 
Um, I do take late work. Excuse me. Um, you have basically a two week deadline. Um, if you don't give me paper within two weeks, it turns into a zero. Um, and that's just how things have to go, especially in an eight week class. Now you realize the things that are due at the end don't have as much leeway, right? Because I have things assigned up until the very last minute we can, um, it's eight weeks. Um, and so you need to keep up. Um, if you get behind because you're ill or some other thing in your life blows up, keep me in the loop. Um, and we'll, we'll work on things, but the makeup policy is, um, technically a week. Um, everything's due when I say they're due. And when we go from there, you know, um, you have grade appeals, course concerns. If I have said something to offend you, or if I've done something that you think is not fair, talk to me first. And then if we can't figure something out, we'll go to either Penny or Sarah, um, for our coordinators. And if the three of us or four of us can't figure things out, we'll go to our Dean, um, who is Kenwana McRae. Um, Dr. McRae, um, is pretty no nonsense kind of person. So, you know, um, there are different things on here. We have to say out loud, um, Americans with Disabilities Act and the title six, seven, and nine non-discrimination. Um, you have rights, um, as a student, you have rights as a disabled person or as somebody who has, um, neurodivergent, um, ways of learning, you have rights. Um, and we will do our best to uphold those. Um, I may have to change dates on the syllabus, but I will let you know in writing, which is on Blackboard. So the last page gives you kind of a rundown of when we're going to have things due. Um, it's the main assignment for that section. Doesn't mean it's the only assignment for that section, um, except for the very last one. Um, but we have some discussion boards like our intro three ways. It's the student coffee house um, and you're asked to introduce yourself. Um, to the class and then why your, your, your focus changes based on your audience. Okay. Um, and then the topic memo is going to do, be due, um, August 30th. The research journal one is September 8th outline, September 15th, research paper, rough draft, um, September 21st, the research paper, final draft, September 29th, um, the public piece, and the reflection will be due on the 8th by noon. So that's the rundown on class. Now on our Blackboard page, um, you'll have also in that syllabus link, um, you'll have a schedule and it has all the uh, modules, the topic of the module, what the assignments are and when they're due. Okay. Um, and so those are, it's a little bit more in depth. Uh, in detail than what we just walked through. Now we have, um, like I said, we have uh, quite a few things to do. Um, and I want to tell you a couple other things just so you have them. Um, and I must be talking really fast cause I'm not quite 15 minutes yet. Sorry. We have, um, in this class, also a lab class attached to it, um, which is English 011. And, um, to be honest, um, I love having all these extra pieces because they help you figure things out before you have to turn them in for a big grade. Um, the lab class, um, the 011 class is set up on a point basis. And so it has 400 points, I think. Um, and then you need to get, um, 60% which is 240 points to pass that. Okay. Um, and so they are supplemental things. They are things I think you need to have anyway, in addition to your writing. Um, and so I've got, um, normally we have a second actual class section that you sign into separately and all that. And I may get that back up, but I messed it up and I'm not sure we can fix it. Um, and so I've put, the lab stuff at the bottom of the links on the left hand side. Um, it, it just says lab class or lab stuff. Um, 
And if you click it in there, it's going to give you a thing that looks very similar to what you'll see on um, the assignments page for the regular class. Um, and so that's that's where all that stuff is. Um, I apologize for making it a mess, um, but um, there should be a way to return things to factory settings, don't you think? Um, but anyway, um, so the lab stuff for the time being um, will be done through that bottom section and um, I will make it as clear as I can in the um, announcements every week. Don't forget, click at the bottom, do the lab stuff too. It's usually one or two um, short assignments to get you ready for what we're actually going to do in class. Um, and so it's all there. It's just kind of weird and I apologize. Um, the lab class um, is not punishment. It is um, support. And if you think about it that way, um, I think you'll have an easier time kind of working through what's actually there. Um, my work in that area um, is to give you some practice that kind of mimics what we're going to do in class next. And so um, this first week, of course, is introductions week. And so what I'm having you do in the lab is what I call my nosy teacher page. Um, it is so, you know, what do you think about this? And what do you think about writing? And how do you do this? And what's the best way for you to learn? And do you have other things I need to think about? Um, that kind of thing. Um, and then the second assignment is um, a cover letter for your dream job. Um, when we do the topic memo, we're going to use business format. And so I want you to kind of play with that a little bit first before you actually do the topic memo. Um, and it will be fairly straightforward that way. Um, we're going to do some work with summaries. We're going to do some work with transitions and commas and just, you know, getting things all together. Um, research notes, quoting and paraphrasing, um, a few things with commas and editing at, towards the end. And we'll finish that class. Um, all those assignments are going to be on Mondays. And so we'll finish that on Monday, September 26th. And then we'll still have another week and a day um, in the English 111 class. Um, but that last week and a day comes pretty hard and fast. And so I don't want to add to your stress any more than I have to. So that's where that one's going. Um, I hope um, that this helps you understand the class a little bit better. Please make sure um, that you, again, read through the syllabus, that you do your um, what, look at the How This Class Works link. Um, make sure that you do your syllabus quiz um, by our um, census date, which is this Thursday, um, August 18th. Um, you have to have that in or um, I have to drop you from class as a no-show. Um, and you can't get back in. So you have to wait until at least midterm to take the next section of this. Um, but it's um, important that you follow directions, do what you're supposed to do, try to get as much things as possible in on time, and ask questions when you need to. Um, you have to email me or you can text me. Um, if it's a quick question that can also be answered quickly, um, just text me and I will be more than happy to text you back. Um, I try to get to those as soon as I see them. Um, sometimes I have to go look things up because, you know, um, school is on my computer, life is on my phone, so sometimes I have to go do some research. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I know, here we are, mile marker 19. Um, for this class, from the topic memo all the way through to the end, you're working in the same um, topic. And I'm limiting, well, I'm crossing a few things off the list um, because it's really difficult for students to be as objective as they need to be when they're writing stuff if you're using really high emotional content. Um, and so I've excluded a few things like um, gun control, the death penalty, abortion, and COVID. COVID's my addition to this time. Um, 
talk about something else, write about something else. Um, it can be lots of different things. Um, and we'll talk about this more on the actual paper assignments, but just know that you're staying with the same topic all semester. You're not going to have to be doing loads and loads of research on various different topics, just one, 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 one. Um, and I will tell you on the lab course, there are a couple times like when we practice summarizing, I want everybody to use the same thing. Um, makes my life easier. I don't have to read however many of you articles. Um, but we're going to use the same article for the summary. Um, and other than that, it's all based on your real topic. Um, and so I want you to be as comfortable with that topic as you possibly can be. So, um, okay. I've babbled long enough. Um, let me know if you have questions, email me or give me a text and I'll be happy to help. Okay. So have a great rest of your day.